So last night was the ESPYs, Excellence in Sports Performance Yearly Awards. It is a highlight of all the greatest moments and athletes in all of sports. Some highlights from last night included a beautiful montage and tribute to all the great athletes, coaches, and sportscasters who have passed away this last year, including Jerry Tarkanian, Ken Stabler, and Stuart Scott. UFC fighter Ronda Rousey won two awards, one for Best Female Athlete and one for Best Fighter, beating out Floyd Mayweather Jr. for that title. Rousey had some pretty choice words for Mayweather. She's been pretty vocal about her disapproval of him and his multiple charges of domestic violence. Rousey commented to the media, I wonder how Floyd feels being beaten by a woman for once. Other notable winners were Lauren Hill for Best Moment. Lauren Hill was a collegiate basketball hopeful until she was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. The school allowed her to play one collegiate game where her dream came true. Lauren passed away three months ago and her parents accepted the award. Odell Beckham Jr. got an award for the best play with that amazing catch. Green Bay Packer Aaron Rodgers got best NFL player. Stephen Curry got best male athlete and best NBA player. And five-year-old Leah Still, daughter of Cincinnati Bengal Devin Still, got the Perseverance Award for her battle with cancer. This Saturday, the Pahrump Valley Speedway will be hosting the Sam Stringer Memorial Race. This is the fourth year that the Speedway will be hosting it, and Sam Stringer was a huge part of creating and maintaining the Pahrump Valley Speedway. Stringer passed away in May 2012 after a long fight with cancer. The money raised by the race goes to the Sam Stringer Memorial Fund, which gives out two scholarships each year, one to a student at Pahrump Valley High School and one to a student at Tonopah High School. It's a great race every year. Gates open at 6 p.m. and racing starts at 7. This Saturday, the football team is sponsoring the Tournament of Champions with the Pahrump Disability Outreach Program. It will entail two hours of fun starting at 10 a.m. at the PVHS gymna Gymnasium. The Trojan football team will work with people with disabilities ranging from age 3 to 22 to teach them different athletic skills. For more information, go to pdop.info. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46.